Hello. So this I got from Mayus today and it cost me seven pounds. And it's a bag of jewelry. I um, already spotted a couple of things in there that um, make this worth me picking up. So anything else is a bonus. And that is one of them here. Not this random earring, but rather this necklace, this vintage necklace, stainless steel that just wants to stay attached to this earring for some reason. Why? Why are you doing this? Why? Stop it. Nearly there. There we go. So this, that's my money back straight away. So yay. Everything else from here is a bonus. And it's quite a bit, isn't it? There are some random shenanigans. A small wrench, a key, um, which I will probably put into broken bits because a crafter could maybe do something with them. There's gonna be a lot of broken bits, as I think. And weird little, I don't know what's, like so, and rubbish, but you never know. Um, a kilt pin with some little faux marker seat on it. Kind of cute, but again, that'll probably go into craft. Right, I should have got a little bag ready really shouldn't I but never mind never mind I'll just divide into bits oh I also saw this like concho southwestern style earring I'm hoping the other one's in there because that's totally sellable but if not never mind right stuff to go into kilo lots wait there I'm just gonna get a pair Oh, it's a bit big and it's a bit damp. Maybe not. Look at that qualtertainment, eh? Qualtertainment. Right. Stuff going in a two kilo. A stitch. There we go. Bangles. It's a vintage bangle, but not one I would sell on its own, to be honest. And we've got things in little baggies. So we've got some shell earrings, and these rather multicolour earrings are going in. And some more earrings, some like little silk wrap type things, and enamel ones. And these, they feel like, yeah, they are plastic with, I don't know. They're quite bizarre though, aren't they? I might sell those ones because they're unusually. And some textured silver tone ones. Again, just going in two kilo bags. And, oh, I've got some... So that's Unikite there. Might sell those. They could be sterling silver um, hooks maybe. And then possibly some hematite with some banded agate possibly. So I could sell them too. Odd earrings, odd earrings. I expect a lot of odd earrings. Um, open up this one. And quite a nice spangly necklace there. And okay, that'll go in there. And beaded little set. This little turquoisey colour flower. And then that I'll probably put into a craft a lot. 
over there and I don't think don't think they're real turquoise then. And a little set of retro rope knot ones. Right, there's definitely a bunch of vintage plastic necklaces in here as well. And a nice set of glass ones. Um, got some wooden earrings. These ones I've had before, haven't I? I'm sure I've had those before, so I might sell them again. Because they're quite pretty. Very pretty. A scarf ring. That can go in there. Because it's obviously a, a new one. This one. I've got a chunky malunky. Oh, and a little charmy bracelet. So, chunky one with wood and what looks like possibly shell. In there. Got some bezel set. Quite nice clasp on that. It looks like it might be gold plated. And I quite like. I don't know. I'll have to. Don't know if they're glass or plastic. But I'll keep that aside anyway. That's something that I would probably sell. And yes, the little charm bracelet, it's got a little clover on it, a little, possibly Welsh girl, and a little country house, little cottage. It's cute, no markings or anything, quite well worn as you can see, but cute, keep that aside. Them hooplas. I don't expect any precious metals or anything in this. That would be very wishful thinking. Um, some more textured silver tone ones. And then little ones that look a bit like cat's eye glass. Do, 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 do. Old earrings. No, 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 no. Yeah, this is um, one that I really like. Definitely will sell this one. Nice vintage glass there with a little nice barrel clasp. Looks a bit 1950s, 60s. Well, that's rather lovely in coral colours, but it's definitely glass. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, you're a chunky one, aren't you? Look at that. Looks like some kind of bizarre animal. That's going in there. Um, oh, these are all going to go into craft, I think. These are all plastic beads. And someone has tried to craft with them before by the looks of it. Glued them to something, but yes. So we'll just take these out. So they'll, yes. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's cool. So an Eiffel Tower Paris tourist bracelet. That's cute, isn't it? And it's got Notre Dame on that one. And La Tour Eiffel. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Like jangly coins. Tokens. Yes, that's something I'd sell. That's cool. So I'm doing, I am doing well, like with a seven pound bag so far. That's nice. Do, do, do. And these are all, oh yeah, that's nice. So we've got some malachite and some coral inlay. And that looks like maybe a jasper perhaps. And probably a dyed howlite and a bit of coral. So again, that's something I'd sell. And nice, nice, nice. Thank you very much. That's just weird. Just weird. Ooh. Give me the creeps a bit. I don't know why. <laughs> some stretchy bracelets with some very pretty beads. They're almost like wedding cake beads, those. That's going in. Some more stretchums, stretchums, and uh, whatever that is. And some 
retro green earrings. Oh, a pretty little ring. That'll end up in a ring slot, though. Oh, I had a pair there. Look at these heart ones. They're going in two kilos. A bunch of Pandora-style beads. I don't think any of them are. Nope. But they go in a separate lot that I do for European charm bracelets. They're kind of fun earrings. Plastic with like what looks like a little bit of tinsel down the middle. Right. Ah, so we've got a match there for those earrings. So we can go in there. And we had the matching earrings to those in the back, so that can go in as well. Take them out. Take that out. And then these are all just like vintage plastic beads that can go into crafting lots. Like so. Dun, 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 dun. That's quite a heavy glass one, huh? Look at that, that's quite a nice bead. And then some more stretches. Um, another Pandora style one. Again, I'll keep that aside. That can go in the European charm lot. A little pair of danglies there into two kilos. That's quite a nice pair of earrings. It's got uh, wood. I might sell those ones. I quite like them. They're unusual. Unusual, eh? Do, do. I've got some like dyed shell and glass. So I'll make these like turquoise in there. A pair of beaten silver tone like hammered textured earrings. That is just plastic, that. Um, are you a pair? Yes, they are a pair. So they can go in. Doesn't look like we've got the match to this one, I'm afraid. Never mind. That's a shame. Oh, that's a rather spangly earring. Another little ring for ring slot. This little Marks and Spencers one. Just going in there. Another little ring. A match to that earring. There we go. It's going in there. And then, ooh, that looks almost like, you know, the sucker, suckers on an octopus. <laughs> earrings, earrings stretch and a little beaded pair of flowers a bit of paper ah oh, these cute little crosses but unfortunately missing a stone so that'll go in broken for someone to harvest what's that all about is that a magnetic clasp or something I don't know what that's about Try and untangle you, maybe. So we've got this little crystal beaded one, and this sort of like a, a, a cross, I suppose. The glass beads. It's rather long, purple one. I recognise that. I think that is John Richard. This one, because I'm sure I've sold similar, but some John Richard stuff isn't stamped, unfortunately. Oh, there you go. There is a match to those earrings going in. Another Marks and Spencers, very modernist, geometric necklace. That's a shame that's broken. That would have been quite cute, but never mind. And whatever that is. And then we've got an odd earring with a little leaf on it. Another little ring. Um, no marks or anything. A little sparkly one, but rings lot. And then, what is this? Is it just a clasp thing? I don't understand. 
Oh, oh yes, it is a magnetic clasp. There we go, a magnetic clasp, which I will put in craft and some odd earrings. So there you go, that's what I got for my seven pounds. So that's pretty cool. That's cool. Nice little bezel set. I do like these. These are some nice beads. Some cool earrings. Unikite. Those bizarre ones. Some more stone ones. This fab necklace. And this little charm one. So that's alright from £7. Cheers. Uh, bye bye now. Bye bye.